Hello and welcome to my House of Torment guide about the abilities you can obtain in the game. I will go over all the abilities one by one, tell you about their base stats, give you an overview of what I would pick for traits and add some information about their upgrades. Keep in mind that you do not start with all the abilities unlocked and that you have to use the abilities to unlock some of the traits for it. Now let's get started. Lightning Strike Lightning Strike is one of the easiest abilities as each strike automatically aims and hits the target. This ability starts out with 200% crit damage bonus modifier which is twice as much as most other abilities. Because of this, choosing traits that increase crit chance or crit damage are very valuable. Lightning Strike has a base damage of 200 with one attack per 3 seconds. Do note that per attack there will be two actual Lightning Strikes. Lightning Strike starts out with 10% crit chance with an extra 200% damage per crit. This ability also has the chance to stun and electrify the target. When picking traits for this ability, I would generally avoid the traits that increase stun or electrify chance. When fully focusing on crit chance and damage, you can end up with every single strike, critting the target for up to 5000 damage. My suggested priority. Intensity, capacity, conversion, charges, and then the other bonuses, but skip them if possible. When upgrading this ability, I would pick Explosive Strikes over Electrifying Strikes, especially if you can combine it with other fire damage traits. Kugel Blitz Kugel Blitz is another ability that does not require any control. It fires a ball of electricity that moves towards random enemies and damages everything in its path. Kugel Blitz has a base damage of 30 with one attack per 5 seconds. It has an extremely high base crit chance with 50%, but each crit only deals an additional 34% damage. This ability pierces up to 100 enemies, meaning it will likely never reach max pierce before it times out. When picking traits for this ability, I would suggest the following priority. Capacity, Resistance, Discharge, Current, Peak, and then the others, but skip them if possible. When upgrading this ability, I do not have any specific preference, but for low mob density I would suggest Static Attraction and for higher mob density I would pick High Voltage. Meteor Strike Meteor Strike launches 3 meteors in random directions. Once they land, they deal area damage in a certain radius. Even though the meteors can do massive amounts of damage, the fact that they launch themselves towards random locations makes them unreliable and will most likely always be overshadowed by other abilities. Meteor Strike has a high base damage of 250. It fires one batch of projectiles per 5 seconds, which by default is one meteor. Meteor Strike has a relatively high crit chance of 25%, but a fairly low crit damage modifier of only 50% extra damage. When picking traits for Meteor Strike, I would go for anything that increases the size and therefore the chance it actually hits targets. My priority would be Fusion, Blast, Frequency, Impact, Heat, and then the others, but again, skip them if possible. When upgrading this ability, you have a choice between leaving fire on the floor with burning craters, or spawning extra but smaller meteors on impact with scattered debris. I generally prefer burning craters, as you can kite enemies in their flames, and give them a chance to get a burn debuff, which combines nicely with other burn effects. Ring Blades The ring blades are projectiles that damage anything they hit on their path. Since you have no control over the aim, they can be very random and usually do not end up doing a lot of damage as they spend a lot of time not hitting anything. Ring Blades has a base damage of 60 with 1 attack per 5 seconds. It has a fairly high crit chance of 30% but a low crit damage bonus of 50% extra damage. The Ring Blades basically pierce infinitely which means they will hit everything they pass through until they time out. One Ring Blade attack will launch 2 projectiles. Ring Blades has only positive traits and I would pick in the following order, focusing mostly on size and speed. Fast, big, reaching, strong, ripping, and then cruel. Both Ring Blade upgrades add two projectiles. Piercing Blades will deal magic damage and apply fragile, while Crippling Blades will add a slow effect. Radiant Aura. Radiant Aura is, as the name suggests, an aura that permanently surrounds your character. This aura deals its damage divided over all the enemies in the area when it is triggered. This ability has a base damage of 1332, which seems high but quickly dwindles as you hit more enemies. This does mean this ability is fairly strong against single enemies, 
Radiant Aura triggers once per 5 seconds and has no chance of critting or dealing extra crit damage whatsoever. When picking traits for this ability, I would focus on damage increase while trying to avoid making the aura smaller. I suggest Might, Haste, Strength, Reach and then the others, but avoid them if possible. The upgrades for Radiant Aura are Punitive Light, that will add an extra attack that can add negative effects to the enemy's hit, and Sacred Flames, adding a certain amount of burn stacks to all enemies in range. I would almost always pick Sacred Flames, especially in combination with other burn effects, abilities or upgrades. Transfiction Transfiction is one of the strongest abilities in the game as it shoots multiple projectiles in the direction you are facing, which generally is the direction where the enemies are at. This ability can add the fragile effect, but the damage is reduced for each additional enemy it hits. Transfiction has a base damage of 50 and attacks once per 1.25 seconds. It has a moderate crit chance of 10%, but a fairly low crit damage modifier of only 50% extra damage. Transfiction does, however, pierce through everything it can hit in its range and will launch two projectiles per attack. For traits, I would suggest the following, focusing mostly on extra projectiles and attack speed. Spread, Cadence, Deadliness, and then the others. As for upgrades, Transfiction has two choices that will both add an extra batch of attacks in a different direction, with one also adding the Affliction effect and the other adding a slow effect. Phantom Needles. Phantom Needles is an ability that launches projectiles towards nearby random enemies. For this reason, it requires no attention and can just be fired on its own regard. On top of this, when it hits enemies, the next attack will happen more quickly. Phantom Needles has a low base damage of 30, but has a quick attack speed of 2 attacks per second. It has a standard crit chance of 10% and a standard crit damage modifier of 100% extra damage. Each projectile can pierce up to 5 enemies. All traits for the Phantom Needles are pretty strong, but I would prioritize the following. Fire Rate, then Sharpness or Power, then Puncture, and then Spin or Pinpoint. Phantom Needles has two fairly unique upgrades, with the first being Phantom Rift. If the Needles reach their maximum range, they will deal their remaining damage in an area around them. And Phantom Split. A critical hit will split up into two new projectiles, both as strong as the original Needle. On top of this, this upgrade will also increase the base damage by 15. Arcane Splinter. Arcane Splinter is one of the lesser abilities. This ability throws projectiles that stay in place for a while. Since they are thrown at random, there is a chance it will not do any damage at all. Arcane Splinter has a base damage of 40, with one attack per 5 seconds. It has a 10% crit chance with a 100% crit damage modifier. It has infinite pierce and will launch 4 projectiles per attack. Most traits for Arcane Splinter have a negative effect, so I would prioritize the following. Piercing, Split, Fading, and then the others, but skip them if possible. As for upgrades, Arcane Splinter has Arcane Shivers, which reduces the number of splinters, but they will burst into smaller ones after being shot, which increases the covered area and the total amount of projectiles. Or Arcane Unrest. Arcane Splinters will never entirely stop and will not get the damage reduced entirely, and it will give an additional 20 base damage. I generally pick Arcane Unrest. Astronomer's Orbs. The Astronomer's Orbs are three orbs that permanently orbit your character. They do damage to anything they hit while circling around you. The circle speed is increased with your movement speed. The orbs have a base damage of 40, with a pretty low crit chance of 5% and a pretty low crit damage bonus of only 50% extra damage. You do start out with three orbs orbiting you, which can be increased. For traits for the Astromalous Orbs, I would pick the following. Speed, Bodies, Roughness, Material, and then the others. When upgrading the Astronomer's Orbs, you get the choice between Electrified Orbs, which adds lighting damage to the orbs based on their movement speed, or Inner Orbit, which adds another orbit with a smaller radius that rotates in the opposite direction. I generally go for Inner Orbit. Summon Golem. Summon Golem is an ability that does exactly what it says. It summons a golem that will fight for you. The golem has a melee attack and a roll attack. The rolling damage is increased with rolling duration. As base, the golem has 43 damage with up to 8 attacks per second. The golem has a base lifetime of 4 seconds, which can be increased. For crit, 
The golem starts out with 5% crit, but a massive 200% extra crit damage bonus. The golem's roll can pierce up to 100 targets. I would pick the following traits for the summon golem ability. Inexorable. Devastation, Acceleration, Inertia, Power, and then Adjustment. The choice of ability upgrades for the summon golem is between adding fire damage with magma fists and electrify chance with ferrite infusion. I tend to pick magma fists, again because I can usually combine it with other burn effects attacks. Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath is an ability that launches a wave of flames towards the direction you are facing and has a high chance of applying the burn effect. Dragon's Breath base damage is 75 and has an attack speed of 1 attack per 5 seconds. Dragon's Breath does not have any crit chance nor crit damage modifier. This ability will hit as many enemies as it can during its duration. I prioritize the following traits for this ability. Coverage, Reach, Recovery, Flammability, Agony and then Incineration. Dragon's Breath has two simple upgrades. Heat Blast, which will add a knockback effect to the wave, and Stream of Fire, that turns the wave into one continuous flamethrower. Since the knockback can knock enemies out of other attacks, I would always opt for Stream of Fire. With this, we have covered all of the abilities, their traits and their upgrades. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments or join me on my Discord server. The link can be found in the description. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!